This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Netflix. So we've been telling you all week, Newt Gingrich took on Paul Ryan and he got demolished. Rush Limbaugh came in and hit him. The Wall Street Journal hit him. Uh, Fox News hit him. Every single person hit him. And then he came out and talked to Bill Bennett, and uh, who's apparently a friend of his, conservative, of course. Uh, and Bennett told him, dude, you better run for the hills, man. You got to apologize. So here comes the saddest apology you're ever going to see in your entire life. Uh, let's go to clip number eight. House Republican is protected for some kind of dishonest Democratic ad. So let me say on the record, any ad which quotes what I said on Sunday is a falsehood. And because I have said publicly, those words were inaccurate and unfortunate. And I'm prepared to stand up. And when I make a mistake, and I'm going to on occasion, I'm going to stand up and share with the American people that was a mistake because that way we can have an honest conversation. What Congressman Ross? Oh, I love that. First of all, I am inaccurate and I am wrong. And he said earlier, too, I, I called Paul Ryan, who's a good friend of mine, and I apologized to him. I said, please, no, Moss, don't make Rush hit me again. Okay, no, no, not the Wall Street Journal, please, I'm begging you, you're a good friend of mine, don't do it. By the way, Paul Ryan came out today and said, I pardon you. He said, I have accepted his apology. Is he not merciful? So, okay, so you got that going on. Did you catch the second part of that, though? If anyone quotes Newt Gingrich, that that would be a lie. If you quote him accurately, because now he has put together, you know, that apology and withdrawal of the statement. It has been withdrawn from the record. So if you quote him from now on, well, then you're a liar. He says the media did this whole thing. It was a yeah, poor guy. It wasn't his fault. The media got those words out of him. You know what he said? He said he didn't... Uh, go into the interview quite hostile enough. Oh, that's fascinating. He said, because it didn't occur to me going in that you'd have a series of setups. What was the setup? They asked you, what did you think of the Paul Ryan plan? And you ran off at the mouth about how it was social engineering and radical, etc. It was the biggest softball question, not in a bad way, just it was the right question, and you gave the wrong answer, apparently, according to the rest of the Republicans. I mean, what a, to blame the rest of the, to meet the media, to blame the, the question, the most obvious question you were ever going to get, uh, oh, what a sad little guy. All right, he continues, uh, look, it's a hypothetical baloney question that had no hope of happening. The Republicans don't control the Senate, they don't have the White House, they can't do what Obama did, and I should just dismiss it, so that was a mistake. But wait a minute, so you're saying that you should have never answered it because Paul Ryan's Republican Medicare plan has no chance of succeeding, no chance of becoming law. Then why'd they waste all that time on it? Why are they going around the country campaigning like it's such a great idea if you think and they all think that it has zero chance of uh, passing? It was a baloney hypothetical. It's, you got, you're pathetic, man. And to see them grovel like that, is that, is that what a commander-in-chief does? Does that look presidential to you? Oh, boy, right here, please, please, don't quote me. Don't quote me. If you quote me, you're lying. Oh, no, David Gregory asked me the wrong question. Oh. Bitch. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, should I? Get a load of Netflix. They deliver the movie to your house. No late charges. Free shipping. You can watch thousands of movies or TV shows straight on your PC or on your television through a gaming console. Netflix.com slash TYT. Free trial membership. You get Netflix all over you.